Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just walking along Lower Road, which runs from Chalfont St Peter. Um, you've got Giles Cross just up the hill, and you've got the busy A413 just next to us here. So this is heading in the direction of Denham. Now, the purpose of today's video is we're going to go and explore a footpath which runs from down here up to Denham Lane. Now, it's been altered quite a lot over its life, and to me, it's a rather spooky bit of a strange sort of path so what i thought i'd do i'll take you along now i'm not going to say anywhere along here's haunted or anything but there's something a bit sinister i think is the word so as we come to here you get to the end of what's left of lower road and the footpath is just there on the other side of the a413 so this would have probably once been fields here so the actual footpath would have once started here so that's its kind of first alteration but as we're going to find out it has had some even more alterations as we go further up. So while the traffic seems to have died down a little bit, look, you've got the public footpath sign here, in between the two lanes. Luckily no one's coming this way. So we're going to go down here. We have been down part of this footpath before when we did the River Misborn series. So in a minute you, you may see a bit you think looks familiar. That's why. So we're just coming down here. Um, I don't know if we can see it, we should be able to. Um, just over there is the one of the viaducts on the Chilton main line. We saw the other one, the main Misborn viaduct, which now carries the M25 under the Chilton main line in the Misborn video. There's another viaduct which carries the railway over the A413 and um, it is just behind the trees there. Perhaps when I last came down here, it was um, a bit clearer, but I thought I could see it, but. It's, seems we can't but it is literally just over there so we are now heading towards the river Misborn as we did in my last video um, so I'll show you the river Misborn again I did say when I did this one I wonder if possibly there was a mill here because there's two courses of river although the property in there is I think called the old mill house no sorry it's called Oak M Mill I'm pretty sure that's what it's called so here's the river Misborn here is the other course which I said about, which I think was built for the mill. It's currently dried up. Can hear a train now, can't see it. Um, so yeah, that one's currently dried up. That's the main course of the Mithron. So in the last video, I didn't have to find my way over to the other side of the viaduct to carry on. What we're doing today, and over the, this bridge here, and um, we come to this field now the m25 is just over there what i'm going to do i'm going to follow the path round up there towards the m25 something else i want to show you halfway up the hill and then we're going up to denham marsh woods so we're now climbing up the hill away from the misborn valley the footpath takes us into the edge of these woodlands now there's something slightly unusual just up here um you shall see in a moment if i can remember it i can't remember exactly where it is i know it's somewhere about here oh yeah so is it here yeah in the woods just down there it's pretty hard for the camera to pick it out but about there where my finger is there's some gravestones now i don't know who they belong to or who's buried there. I have a feeling it might be pets that are buried there. I somehow don't think from looking at it, it's humans that are buried there. But if anyone knows, please do comment and tell me. And I just think as you come up here, that sets the scene for what I think is quite a sinister sort of place. Not so much here, but in a minute we come to the M25. Now, the footpath has been altered, obviously to cross the M25. And that's where we go into Denham Marsh Wood. And I just get a sinister sort of feeling whenever I go into Denham Marsh Wood. I don't really know why, but I'll explain a bit more once we've crossed the M25, which is just up here a little bit. So I've reached the top of the hill, just over there. That's the viaduct. I just saw a train, so um, I'll insert a picture of a train on the viaduct now. Chilton Railways 
um, class 165 free carriages. So it's not a brilliant view of the viaduct. It used to be really good before all the trees grew up. Say if a steam train went along there, you'd get you'd be able to video it going all the way along there. Now the footpath, um, it looks like it might have been quite overgrown, but someone luckily has come up here with a strimmer. All these weeds look like they had been growing on the footpath. Now you may be able to start to hear the roar of the traffic. That's because we are approaching the M25. It is literally just the other side of that fence. Over there, what you can see over there, that's the Isle of Wight farm. Now just from looking at a picture, you wouldn't know that the M25 is in between. But um, you can hear the sound and in a minute we shall see the M25. So what would have happened somewhere here? I think at the moment I'm walking on the original footpath, but we shall go on to the deviation which is what would have been built when the M25 was built. So we'll get around these bushes. So we come to a stile just here. And now I think this is where the alterations begun. So up till now, well, apart from where the A413 was put through, we're on the original footpath. But what happens here? Well, it gets a bit windy around here and uh, it's getting a bit overgrown. This is how I first remember coming up this footpath when I was a child. It was like this. It was a bit overgrown and I think that's why I said I get this sort of strange feeling about coming up here. I don't, I don't really know what it is. There's just something odd about up here. Right, what happens? So we come to here and we're on like a farm track. Now the M25 is just down there. You can see the road quite clearly. The footpath would have gone straight ahead, straight over there, um, where we'll later pick it up. I'll point that out to you when we get there. We're now going to go over the motorway and um, into Denham Marsh Woods. So you can see the footpath over the motorway. So, motorway's not too busy today. The Isle of Wight Farm's over there. The buildings you may be able to see in the distance, that's Tatlin End. And I don't suppose the camera's picking it out, but I can also see a plane taking off from Heathrow Airport. Not much point me talking now, because I have to shout for you to hear me, but have a look at the motorway. You may be able to see the viaduct down there, which carries the Chiltern main line over the motorway, but it was originally built for the River Misbourne. As um, you'd have seen if you watched the River Misbourne video, I explain it in that one. And this is now Denham Marsh Wood. This is the place I feel has this sinister kind of feeling. It just conjures up a sense of slightly kind of um, awkwardness about coming into here and I really don't know why if it's just me or if um, anything ever happened here or if anyone knows anything so two public footpath signs obviously over the motorway and along here now what I remember happening when I was a child we got to here if you look there should be a footpath sign there but it's missing the official footpath goes that way but my dad and I I think we looked that way and thought oh that's a bit overgrown and we walked this way, which looked much more like a footpath. Also, at the time, we were following an OS map, but we were following an old one, one that didn't have the M25 in. So, the, you know, it, was, it wasn't going to really help us through here. The other thing that had happened here was there had been a fire. So, all of what you see was all very dark and black. It was, had a very sort of spooky... Um, appearance. Now I can see coming along here now it doesn't feel like a proper path and indeed this isn't the actual path but it seems people do use it but what is what happens when you get up to here you go round here and uh, when we get just through the trees we come to this clearing here. Now it's at this clearing where I feel everything's really weird. Well the clearing is because of the pylons which are running here. You get to here 
And my dad was saying, I don't think this is a proper footpath. But I said, well, this looks like a path. And he said, yeah, I know. But um, you look down there and there was a big mound of earth. I'm not quite sure why. Now the footpath carries on down there and you can see it goes that way, but this isn't the real footpath. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back towards the motorway and I'm gonna show you where the real footpath goes. But I just don't know what it is about here, but there's just this eerie kind of feeling, maybe conjured up by the sound of the motorway. I don't really know. Other than that, it's really quite an attractive woodland. So anyway, I'm gonna go back that way towards the motorway. So I'm now back on the main path. I'm just running parallel to the motorway and it's somewhere along here where we rejoin the original footpath. So I suppose also the other thing is Denham Marsh Woods would have carried on across where the motorway is. Look how overgrown it's becoming now. Uh, it's just going to be fun. So, yeah, it's, it's a, I just think it's a strange place up here. Look at these really nice fox gloves, though. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yes, it's here. This is where we pick up the original footpath. Now, it's, see, I think it's funny, just here, there's these signs say public footpath. So we're going to carry on down there. That's the actual footpath. The footpath would have once before the motorway gone straight across there to where the bridge started. So we now go down here and um, we should fairly soon come back across that track I said about. The one that, although looks very much like a path, has a, I just think, an unwelcome feeling. I mean, this could just be me, um, you know, working myself up and frightening myself a bit. I don't know. But if anyone does, like I say, if anyone knows anything that's ever happened up here, has anything weird happened here, um, please let me know. Or maybe it's just the way there's the motorway and uh, the pylons. It, it just gives this strange kind of um, feeling. I, I really don't know. It's, it's hard to describe. But we're back underneath the pylons now. Um, if the camera's picking them out. Probably if it wasn't for the motorway, you might hear a slight buzzing of the pylons. But there's all, all sorts of odd little paths that kind of go off and you wonder where they go. This is that path we were on earlier, which runs underneath the pylons. And um, the official footpath goes that way. But then there's a path that goes that way. Now I'm intrigued to know, where does that go? If you know where that goes, comment and tell me because I kind of half want to go down there but at the same time I don't want to go down there because I don't know if I should or what's down there anyway I'm gonna carry on down towards Denham Lane well I'm now coming to the end of the footpath through Denham Marshwood so I know today's video has been a bit different a bit strange but like I said I just get this weird feeling and I just I wanted to sort of get it off my chest and see if anyone else, you know, has the strange feeling about this wood or if it is just me, I don't know, going a bit mad whenever I come up. What's that? It's a, interesting. There's a, another path going off down there. So I've noticed that's the other thing, if anyone can help me with. There's, there seems to be a few other paths. They're not shown as a public footpath, only this one is. But are they these unofficial paths where, you know, if you walk down them, it's not really a problem or are they you know strictly private it, it's just a bit bizarre this place so anyone wants to comment and tell me um you know like if you think i've you can tell me if you think i've gone a bit mad by making this video what i've set up here um the factual things of the footpath that i do find interesting you know how it's been diverted to accommodate the a413 and the m25 but um yeah is it a sinister place or is that just me anyway i can now see denham lane which sometimes when i come up here has a bit of a sense of relief to that feeling that you're out of the woods, although we are still quite deep in the woodland. So um, I'm going to carry on walking down Denham Lane this way, back towards Chalfont St Peter. Um, I'm probably going to head down as a footpath that goes down across the golf course and down into um, Chalfont Park. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's been a bit different, a bit weird this one, but Hope you enjoyed it. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends and um, thank you very much. Goodbye.